I'm Christine Cushing of Confucius Was a Foodie. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this part. Hi, if you just tuned in, I'm straddling a bamboo whatever. <laughs> I would go to that place. It sounds already evocative. Too bad you're not 88 years old. <laughs> you could have, would have gone with me. We <laughs> That's all rice? This journey all started when I discovered that the philosopher Confucius was actually a foodie. Confucius and I have a lot in common when it comes to food. <laughs> Making this stuff up for me, honestly. I've been traveling the globe discovering Chinese cuisines. This is where my journey begins. Baklava is Chinese. And the effect they've had on how the world cooks. There's trouble happening here at the creperie, I'm just telling you right now. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> Hot and eats. Cannot compare what cannot be compared. So on a banana split, you would have corn. You could. Chinese came to Italy and found pasta. Yeah. <laughs> when you're looking at a cuisine that is 5,000 years old, it's pretty epic. <laughs> Before I started this journey, I had no idea that Confucius was, in fact, a foodie. Breakfast in Singapore. Oh, yeah. Learning his foodie teachings has been the motivation for one culinary adventure after another. And I can't wait to see where it will take me next. <laughs>